Hello all. A uh, viewer was asking me if I could do a video on installing the Repo CK uh, Linux in Arch Linux. And I'm going to attempt to uh, show you how to go about it um, in obviously in VirtualBox. So as you can see, I've pulled up the About uh, desktop environment, in which I'm using XFCE. Uh, just a very basic install. Uh, nothing much on it. Um, but it doesn't make any difference about uh, actually installing the uh, the kernel. Uh, so we'll open the terminal and just do a uname. If I can do that right. Uname. A dash R. And you see it's Arch Linux 317.6-1. And uh, that's the latest kernel as of this video. Pretty much what you need um, is on the Arch Linux wiki itself on how to install this and signing the keys and here's a list of uh, the CPU architectures um, that you can uh, that's supported you see there's AM, um, Intel and AMD and also uh, there's NVIDIA uh, support is on top of that so to, to speed things up a bit uh, I made some notes from that and we have to add to the Pac-Man configuration file the repo dash CK and uh, square brackets and the server you want um, at least four times because it's hosted on GoDaddy, I believe. So um, more than likely they will time out. So if you have it four times, it'll look up another uh, branch and continue downloading for you. And then we have to put the Pac-Man key. Again, you might run into problems, but uh, I'll address that as we go along. So first of all, just open the text editor as uh, root and add in ck uh, repo ck so as shown in the uh, terminal in virtualbox i'm going to use leafpad so sudo leafpad slash etsy slash pacman dot c on f for configuration file and when you press enter all we have to do is add um where it has the uh repos you can add a couple of uh press enter a couple of times and I'll just take uh, this document here and just copy this repo CK line along with the arch mirrors and just copy that and paste it into the document. Clear that up a bit. And that's pretty much all you do. So we'll just file save and we'll close the document. So now we have to add the Pac-Man key. And as I said, this might fail, but uh, we'll work around that. So uh, I'll leave a link to the Arch Linux uh, wiki on the CK because this might in the future change the key itself, possibly. So anyway, uh, just pacman-key-r and then the uh, signature. Paste that in. Oh, sorry. Should be sudo. And you have to give it some time. Uh, okay, so, yeah, you usually get this. I've seen this uh, since the late, some of the latest updates in Arch Linux, the .gnupg, uh, this s.dir manager doesn't exist or it fails. So we can easily fix that. First of all, uh, we'll have to see if the, that dot directory actually exists on the system. So just do a sudo ls-la slash root. And you can see that there's no uh, .gnu file. So we'll just create one. sudo mk, I think it's a directory, sorry, not a file. Uh, slash root. And dot slash root dot gnu pg, I believe. Now let's try the key ring again. So I'll just copy this again, just to make sure. And we'll see what happens. Paste that in, and again, give it some time. Okay, so it worked. Uh, you see it's by Gray Sky, and it's been, uh, we'll update the next time we sync the mirror list. So you just proceed and uh, do the same idea, pacman-key-f and the number, and then L sign, local sign. So I'll just arrow key up, change this dash R to an F, and we're fine with that, and then, Zoom in again. 
and we'll just delete and put two dashes ls sign dash key and we're good so now it's just sudo pacman dash capital s y y and we'll see if it, there it is we just found this uh, repo ck so we're good to go so to get an idea of what you want um it's just pacman i'll zoom in again sorry uh and a space dash capital s a small g and say ck uh, whatever the one of those, uh Let's say the latest Intel has well. And it returns what you need. Uh, Linux CK has well, the headers, NVIDIA legacy, and the latest NVIDIA cards, like the whatever 700 series, the uh, Kepler series, I, I believe. I'm not really sure. Then uh, if you're using VirtualBox guests, and obviously your host modules. And you can also do just, uh, I think there's generic. So basically it goes back to what uh, we have here in uh, on the wiki. You just uh, do the sudo pacman dash sg and then uh, dash, dash capital S, small g, and then ck atom, generic, and core 2, and k10, etc. for your AMD processors. And if you're not sure, you can uh, run this. So again, always refer back to this wiki because the things may change now since I have an AMD system I could I could try this in VirtualBox to uh, install the CK 10 uh, repositories from the repository sorry the Linux kernel so you just take what you need say CK 10 or um, CK dash K 10 for AMD uh, six core processors the, the 1090 T or whatever Intel you're using you can copy that and uh, sudo pacman dash capital S that one paste that in again I'm not sure this is going to work and then we'll get the headers just in case so we'll copy those paste here and since I'm in VirtualBox I want the guest modules so VirtualBox CK guest modules dash K10 Make sure I get the whole thing there. Apologies if, the, if this is painfully obvious, but uh, just to be on the safe side. So you just press enter and press enter for yes. You can see, we'll take a look and see what happens. Sometimes the, the mirror will time out. As you can see here, it said transfer closed. So that's why you have to put it in at least four times uh, to get the uh, kernels to download. All right, so I'll let this uh, do its thing and install. All right, everything went well. And uh, just to make sure if you're in VirtualBox trying this out to mod probe the VBox gas SF and video, and which I just did and it returned fine. So I'll clear the screen. And now we just have to generate our MK init file. So sudo MK, MK init, press tab, dash P, Linux dash ck and press enter all right so once that's gone through uh, don't forget to update your grub file so again i'll clear the screen and uh, sudo um, grub dash mk config dash o and a slash boot uh, grub another slash grub dot cfg and you, you can see that it's found the uh Linux CK images and file and the backup. So after that, you just uh, reboot the system. So I'll just do issue a sudo reboot and uh, we'll go to the, uh, I'll pause at the grub screen. Okay. So if you want to uh, be sure, uh, where it has Arch Linux, just arrow key down one press advanced options you see now it's going to launch with Linux CK if you want to go back to your original arch you can so I'm just going to see if uh, Linux CK is working so let's see if there's any messages failed or anything and everything looks fine and there we go 
So I'll open a terminal and just do a uname. Why can't I spell that right? Anybody know? Uname dash r. There it is. Linux CK uh, 3.18 uh, kernel uh, running in VirtualBox along with the uh, CK Linux guest editions. All right, so that should sum it up. It's, uh, it's fairly straightforward. It's not that too painful to do. <laughs> Uh, like I said, um, I can't emphasize enough. Just refer to the wiki, which I'll put in the description. And there's other uh, things you want to look at. Is the if you might want to look at is the uh, budget fair queuing, the iOS scheduler for your hard drive. Uh, that's kind of interesting. And there's a couple of videos that are, if you're interested, uh, are interesting to look at. All right. So I hope that helps uh, anybody out and the uh, viewer that was asking for this on how to uh, install Linux CK. In this case, it's Repo CK. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and happy holidays. We'll talk to you soon and bye for now.